This podcast is not safe for work and will feature movie spoilers. It will feature scenes described of a graphic nature. It will contain language which most listeners may find offensive. Welcome to the podcast Under the Stairs. Hi everyone and welcome to the podcast Under the Stairs. This is episode 493. I'm your host Duncan McLeish. Welcome to the show. This is a very special episode, a continuation of the series Winter Reviews, a filmed footage film. We have made ourselves available through the last couple of months to review a couple of different found footage films, Winter being my nine-year-old daughter who has taken a keen interest in having the shit scared out of her, um, has been slowly tackling the heavy hitters and working our way towards this, this movie here itself. We're going to be doing the Blair Witch Project as a special review for October. Now, there's an added kicker in this one. She refused to review the movie without the participation of one other person in my household, that being my wife, who had famously managed to get through the entirety of her life having never seen the movie. So what will be coming up on this episode is a review of The Blair Witch Project from 1999 featuring my nine-year-old daughter and my wife. We're going to be getting into what works, what doesn't work and ultimately was this movie scary to one, my wife and two, a nine-year-old who's grown up with iPads and YouTube and all the things that would, to be honest, if I had them at her age, would have scared the bejesus out of me. So we'll find out what they make of that. But first, enjoy the trailer. Ten days and thousands of man hours have been unable to produce any clues to the cause of the mysterious disappearances. Rated R. Now playing. And welcome back to another episode of Winter Reviews, a found footage film. Uh, This is a special one. This one we talked about recently where we finally have made it to The Blair Witch Project, a movie that Winter has wanted to see for quite some time. But in conversation in Casa McLeish, we uh, quickly established that my beloved wife of many years has never seen The Blair Witch Project. So Winter... Being winter, decided that if we're going to do this, who was joining us? Mama. Mama. Yeah, she's going to come and watch the movie with us. Now, I believe that we should always put our cards on the table. This is the second recording. The first one we did <laughs> right after the movie finished. This is two days after we watched it. But for whatever reason, I don't know what reason it was, I accidentally hit mute. Te- uh, we technical had, difficulties. Yeah, we had video but no audio. So we're doing it again. So this one should be more concise less train of thought but more importantly hopefully a better recording now winter is very exciting to be here on this episode doing the Blair Witch Project because very early on when we were talking about fan footage movies I said to you Blair Witch Project is where it's at it's the first proper big movie that set it all off um, were you excited to watch this movie? yes how excited? Cloverfield excited? or <laughs> Or is excited or um. Friday Thirteenth Part Three excited? <laughs> where, where, where do we where do we land on the level of excitement? Were you really looking forward to checking this one out? I mean, it was. I I thought I thought Cloverfield was better. Yes, but, but we're not doing like, grades. Um, before you watch the movie, how excited? Um, part three of. Yeah. Jason. So you you, so you weren't like sure. Excited. Yeah, you, you weren't sure. I had zero interest. So we should get to that. Why, <laughs> in the many years, many 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 years that you've been on this planet, have you never had an inkling to watch this movie? Granted that when it came out, you were thirteen. I think we say that we identified yeah. that I was thirteen when it came out. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of um, found footage films anyway. 
um, and I think everything was still a trailer, I just thought it just looked a bit meh. So we just never ever made an effort to sort of go out my way to, yeah, to sort of watch it, so. Um, no other specific reason. Just you don't meh. mind found footage movies though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I, it, they're just not my favourite though. Like I, like, I do like fine, found footage films, they're just, they're not my favourite. And you like, like horror movies. Yeah, I, I do. And, and this is also, we'll get on to it, but I hate films. Hate films that don't have a proper ending. Right, well, we, we, we will <laughs> so get well, This one does have a proper ending. Does it, though? Yes, this one has a proper ending. This movie tells <laughs> you at the start that three teenagers got lost in the woods, they were never found There's except a lot the footage. Of implied. Right. We'll get to this. We're going to we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to break these down. Um, Winter. Now. <sighs> You know in this, what I enjoy doing is I enjoy asking you about specific things in the movie. Uh, we'll yes. kick these out to your mum as well. But the first big thing I need to ask you is, did you enjoy The Blair Witch Project? Yes. You did. Um, and what was it about the movie specifically you enjoyed? So what, what parts of the movie were the bits you were like, this is, this is something I like? Was it the characters? Was it the setting? Uh, was it the story? The setting. The setting. So you like the woods. Now, recently, you've joined the Cubs. <laughs> and you're you're going trips to the woods now with your friends and, <laughs> and all the rest. Is that, <laughs> is that why? She's like... <laughs> yeah. Is that why you enjoyed it, though? Because you were... Like, before you saw the movie, you were up at the woods. When it's like, torches. I'm never going to the woods again right now. <laughs> <laughs> or was it more the 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 fact that they had cameras and were walking around the woods making a movie? Cameras. The cameras. cameras. Remember you need to talk loud for the microphone. Um so let's talk about the characters. Right, we've got Josh, we've got Mike, and we've got Heather. So we only really have three characters in this movie. Um did you have a favourite one? Heather. Heather. Now, most people don't like Heather. They think Heather's bossy. And she gets blamed a lot on the internet for everything that happens in the movie. I don't necessarily think that's fair. And I also think, personally, that I have known quite a few people that are very much like Heather when it comes to planning things. But also when a crisis happens, they focus on what they did right as opposed to focusing on ways to, to get help um basically saying it's not my fault um what was it about heather that you liked that she basically knew the way like she knew the way yeah well did you did you well, well you, in a look. you could <laughs> argue you could argue and i think winter's right on this one i think you could argue that if this wasn't a haunted <coughs> place her directions are right for the most part, they do, and the reason you know that there's something afoot, something not right in this one is when they decide to walk south along the banks of the creek, they end up looping back on themselves, which is impossible unless the creek does a loop, which is not how a creek would work. It would have to run from a northern point to a southern point, from higher ground to lower ground. Yeah, and you mentioned when in that film when we were watching it, that was, it was, what, what was it like? What other film? Grave Encounters. Grave Encounters. So Grave Encounters, in a lot of respects, takes that idea of being stuck in a loop and being, you know, like opening one door, but then you end up at, back in the corridor that you were in before. Um, Grave Encounters uses that quite a lot. And you could argue, and I think you'd probably be right if you argued it, that Grave Encounters owes quite a lot to the Blair Witch Project, um, except it shows the creatures and the monsters. And the reason it does that is by the time Grave Encounters is made... People want movies that actually show you the creature. And you never actually see anything in the Blair Witch Project. You hear noises. Um, you hear the little kids outside the, the tent, tent and the, the hands. And creaky noises. And you hear Josh shout a lot. But you never actually see like a Blair Witch. Mm -hmm. <coughs> did that bother you? Or did you like the idea that you didn't see anything? Bothered me. Bothered you. You like seeing creatures... One of the reasons. Do you, you like... though? Yeah. Because Winter at numerous times was <laughs> was hands in her ears, yep. 
She was almost like, mm, Dad, is there a scare jump coming? And but is that day the letter? Is that because you want to see a creature? Or is that because of the sound of the movie? I want to see a creature. Yeah, but I mean, like, the part where you're putting your fingers in your ears, is that because of the sound? Yeah. That could be too yeah. loud, do you think? Cause scary, I, it's scary all jump. silent. It's all silent. Yeah, this movie doesn't have songs playing in it like other movies. This one has, like, real noises, which at times means silence, and then things build up from there. At the credits at the end of the movie, you kind of asked me if I could switch it off. Um, during the credits and that's because the sound design was kind of creepy dad agrees with you by the way I don't like the uh, it's very unsettling when the credits are playing and there's just those creaky weird noises and and strange sounds that are playing as opposed to to music um, it's, it's weird how that's set up mm. um, did you have a favourite scene in the Blair Witch Project like a favourite bit that happened and also, who was your least favourite character? Is it, is it Josh, who goes missing, or is it Mike, because Mike gets rid of the map? Mike. Yeah, you didn't like it when you found out that he kicked the map into the creek. I also don't like him. You just don't like him at all? <laughs> no. I what, just in general as a character? He's rubbish. He's rubbish. <laughs> Go in the bin. He goes in the bin, right. Um, and it was a particular bit in the movie itself that you really liked. Did you like that bit at the, at the house at the end where they were running up and down the stairs? No. No. <laughs> uh, did you... Well, what bit, what bit did you like then? What was your favourite bit? In the movie. Did you have a favourite bit? Uh, no, I didn't really have a favourite bit. Didn't really have a favourite bit. Um, what did you think of the stick figures? Because that's, like, that's what's now... The, the movie's kind of known for if you buy posters or... Even the original we artwork. We didn't see them again, though. So. Yeah, but they're in that scene everywhere. There's hundreds of them. It's supposed to be the symbol of the Blair Witch. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what the Blair Witch is. Well, you do get told in the movie a little bit about the legend of the Blair Witch, but then you get told about two or three different versions of it because it's a folk tale. Um, we spoke about this as well in that the reason it was so popular when it came out like, arguably the most financial successful movie of all time compared to its budget but um, was because of how they marketed the movie so they shot it very very cheaply but then they used the internet one of the first movies ever to actually use the internet to kind of sell the movie but they made a fake documentary which was shown on TV beforehand and then they put up flyers and uh, things in newspapers and magazines basically you know missing three kids and all the rest which before the movie came out gave the impression that the movie was real and dad told you that when i saw it in the cinema two of the five people i was with came out thinking the movie was real like it really happened they didn't understand it was a movie do you think that's quite clever yeah yeah do you know what other movie did that i'll give you a clue it's your favourite film footage movie so far. Cloverfield. Cloverfield created loads of fake websites and codes in the movie that you can go online to crack to get additional footage. And these things started appearing before the movie came out. So you could actually find out more about Cloverfield before you actually went to see the movie. So they copied that part as well. So Did people it, think that Cloverfield was real? No. The difference being <coughs> that they got drawn into the story. So they liked the mystery, so they tried to do more investigation. So Cloverfield takes that part of Blair Witch Project. Paranormal Activity takes the idea of there's something strange, let's film it. And Grave Encounters takes the idea of that loop in time. So Blair Witch Project... And also the camera. And the camera as well. So you could see that Blair Witch Project, because it was one of the first ones, it really inspired and influenced loads of movies afterwards which is really cool it's sometimes the best at being the first movie that comes out is you get to create the rules of how those movies work doesn't always mean those are the best examples like other filmmakers can refine them and make better movies afterwards but because you're kind of the first one that does it you instantly get street cred for being like the the ones that originate it uh, it's like someone on tiktok creating a tiktok dance right and then everyone copying them. You know other people, other people 
could be better dancers and do the dance better, but ultimately it'll always go back to this is the person that created the dance. Yeah. So before we get to mm. scores and all the rest, we need to get the wife's opinion here. We need to bring in your mum and uh, find out if she was wrong having held out so long on this one uh, and any comments she had. Corinne, it's safe to say you were nonplussed on this one. Exactly. That's Yeah, I was sort of probably... Yeah, it was what I expected it to be, to be fair. It was... It took a long kind of while to get in there. And I understand there's, sort of, there's that sort of build up to it. and then Character development. Yeah, but there was... I think that's like you said though. There was no, there was there wasn't really one character who I sort of related to or I really really liked. They were all yeah. kind of just. You know, I don't particularly like any of the characters yeah. in this one. Yeah. Um, they were I all. Also, don't think you're supposed to. Yeah. There was just there was nothing for seventy five percent of the film that kind of really drew me in, thinking like they're doing something different. And I understand, right, obviously, when, yeah. when it was 1999 it was released. 1999. Yeah, so, so quite a while ago. Yeah. Um, and I, I had sort of mentioned that I think possibly had I seen it when it maybe first came out or when I was a bit younger, also because I've obviously seen a lot of horror films since then, mm-hmm. that perhaps I might have enjoyed it a bit better. But, yeah, it was um, very average. Very average. A whole sea yeah. of people on the internet right now are spitting their coffee across the table. The, the was, rest are high fiving you and hugging you right now. I There's more people that have not back and forth it. on this. You wouldn't recommend the Blair Witch Project? No. I would totally recommend this movie. I, I know. I kind of love it. Um, but that's because we all know what our scores are. Um, no. It's ticked off the list now, though. Yeah. So there is. There's two sequels to this movie. There's the one that they made the year after. Which was shot as a movie movie. What are, do you want to watch the sequels? No. But then there is the 2016 sequel, which is a found footage movie, which follows people, what, 20 years on going back to the woods. It's a relative of one of the people that went missing and they go into the woods. And that movie goes out its way to expand the idea of what the Blair Witch actually is. Mm-hmm. Um I think it's kind of messy. I don't think it's a great movie. I like the idea to an extent. The actual explanation of what they think the Blair Witch is, I think is kind of needless. And as we talked about on Friday, there's news circling constantly that there's another one in the works right now that you know Lionsgate are desperate to get another one out and um, kind of trade off that name. So we may have a brand new prequel, sequel, you never know with these things. It could be a, a requel that's kind of popular. Um, but we don't know. I don't think this will be the last Blair Witch movie. Oh, I wouldn't be in a rush. Yeah. To we'll see. See it. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Interestingly enough, a lot of the things you complain about are the things that the 2016 movie corrects. Okay. So there's a lot more on actual shocks, seeing things, definitive endings, that that sort of thing. Yeah, I think, yeah. Which I think the filmmakers themselves kind of wanted to do. So yeah. they, they, they kind of wanted to to flesh it out a little bit more with the writers and whatnot. So. Yeah, I think it just it kind of was this massive kind of build up, lead up. Like you say, you don't physically see anything. Yeah. You sort of see the little symbols, and there's obviously sort of you know, implied things that, you know, there's something out there and obviously mm. tapping his children's hands on the tent and then there's a shouting of Josh and he's, yep. what, I think we would say his tongue? We, we there's think that it's his sus- tongue. suspect yeah. that it was we possibly his tongue. his tongue, but then he's, and then later on he's like, he's shouting, so it's like, how can you shout with that tongue? And then, I yeah. don't know, to the end. Tooth. Well, it's never, well, yeah. Yeah, but you yeah. can't actually tell yeah. very well, but. And I there's mean, also the idea that it might actually not be his. Well, yeah, there's also that, yeah. There there's is, the there rumour that, that so. circles the internet quite a lot that Josh is behind basically everything that happens. So Well, yeah, I mean, there's that because he's kind of one, like, there he kind of appears to kind of go mental yeah. and then disappears. Yeah. And then he's kind of never seen again after that, so... Um, Interesting. Right, let's let's get to the serious bit here, which is the grades. Yeah. So and also, through, oh. I'll just say as well that then the, the sort of when they get into the house and then there's obviously then Mike's in the corner and then she gets yeah. knocked out and uh. to me that's the bit that <laughs> links it all together. Well, yeah, yeah, right, but it's just 
it's just oh, it's that big lead up to it and then that kind of happens and then it shuts off and then it's like well basically what every film fo- like it did that and then every film footage movie after it does that <laughs> ending like every film footage movie ends with someone running in the woods yeah. or running in a room or the camera switching off or ultimately an unexplained event as to why the camera's there yeah but the people aren't so right. Right, let's talk grades. So it's one through five. One is hated it. Two is didn't like it. Three is liked it. Four is re- really liked it. And five is loved it. Point fives are allowed. Corey? You start first. Point five. Well, you've dropped your score <laughs> yeah. considerably since the last time we recorded. So you hated the movie. You, in fact, you go below hating this movie. No. You're above hated this right. movie. Mother. One is hated it. What, if you sorry, didn't, what is, what if you is, didn't what like it, it'd be a two. Did you right, hate well, it? No, I didn't hate it. Okay, right. so... Put a two. Right, two. 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 I'm you 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 pressure to your two. Well, no, a 0. 0.5 <laughs> is for a movie that's not really a movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are we doing here? Um, <laughs> two, sorry. Harsh, right. yep, reviewer. Um, uh, what is... Mum is being super harsh, 3.5. You give it a three point five. So between a like it and a really like it, as I mentioned on the previous recording, it didn't stick. Bye for me. I love this movie. Um, <laughs> uh, for me, it <laughs> like a five. Yeah. Are you on crack? No. <laughs> Why do you like it so much? One, when I saw it, it was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. Right. Right. And two, I think it's the it's the idea and the concept that this movie, to me holds up even though it actually doesn't show you anything yeah that, that I think that's what bugs me about it as well is that you don't apart from the three of them you don't re- then really sort of see anything like there's just it's implications that there's Blair Witches out there and alright let, let, let and me it, change tact here I think the idea of being lost and going crazy because you're lost and yeah, slowly breaking yeah, I down mean that, cause that, I mean, is not, more relatable and more terrifying Something I can, I, I mean, I can imagine, I don't really believe in, we've spoken about this, ghosts or spirits or whatever, right? To me, them being lost and not being able to get out, that is terrifying. Yeah. So that's how the movie holds up for me, notwithstanding the end, and yeah. um, that all works for me. And it's a movie that I think it does really, three unknown actors, um, very cheaply shot in the woods, and I believe their emotions, I believe the way they go, I, I, I think it's, this is a great time capsule of a movie. It's like, it's the focal point for basically, you chart like every film footage movie from 1999 onwards and it all comes back to the Blair Witch Project and they all try and copy it and every time they try and copy it, I don't think any of them manage to capture that lightning in the bottle or something that gives you three people that feel real, that have a real reason for holding the cameras. You know, or like all that stuff is in there. They're constantly throughout the movie saying, switch off the cameras. Like, like, I, I love that idea about the knowledge that that's a conceit that shouldn't happen in the movie. But had they be, had those cameras been switched off, there wouldn't be a movie. Yeah. So it's a five for me. I, I love it. I think it's, it, it's great. When we do another thing here, we do Winter's skull score, which is how many scares it gave you. It's one through five. Five is the maximum. So anything over five scares gets a five. Uh, how many? Scares. How one. many? One. And do we know where it got the scare? Yeah. Whereabouts was it? Uh, when they were shouting Josh, it went <laughs> super loud and then it just... Josh! Yeah. <laughs> you were, you were... Yeah, you were not digging that. You were expecting no. something to come out and... Josh! So <laughs> Josh! But now, the reason we are recording this the way we are recording this, uh, and well in advance of it being dropped, is that by the time this episode drops, we we're will probably... We'll be in Japan, Japan so we'll not be in the UK. But people will be out there going that what winter's going to be away. We're not going to have another. There is another winter episode which will have dropped probably I think before this one Spoiler or maybe an hour around. It's fine. It's not related to your found footage series, but rather every every Friday thirteenth we watch another Friday thirteenth movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so we watched Friday thirteenth part three because that's the one you're up to. So there's a review of that out there as well. And we will be back in November for another film footage movie. Are we in Japan on Friday the 13th? Yes, we are. I did not realise yes. that. Yes. There we go. There we are. Um, Interesting. And you had an announcement of the movie you want to do in December. Krampus. 
Krampus. Now, even though you've seen Krampus, you want to do a review of that again. Yes. You need to ask followers. Krampus. So, ask, so yeah. if you winter. want Winter to review Krampus in December, then uh, you need to let us know. You need to post on the Facebook, you need to post on the, the YouTubes and let us know and Winter will be back to do that for you. Um, Krampus. All, all that's left is for you guys to say goodbye so Lovers. I can close out my show. Do so, say line. goodbye to listeners. Do not be like, goodbye. <laughs> be like, goodbye. Bye. Thank you for having me. Winter, say bye <laughs> listeners. What's, what's the Japanese word for goodbye? You know. Sayonara. Say, sayonara. <laughs> I'm embarrassing you. Right, come on, say goodbye to listeners. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody, and vote Krampus. <laughs> and vote Krampus. There we go. Um, I will be back right after this short break to close out the show. And welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. A little bit something different dropping from Winter Reviews He Found Footage Movie. We've got another couple of these to do before the year's out. And then myself and my daughter will take on board another subgenre of horror and run another few reviews through there. Rounding out our knowledge. I wish I had something like this. For me, back when I was a kid, maybe I wouldn't have seen movies like I Spit in Your Grave and Last House on the Left at age 12. But yeah, um, we're going to we're gonna work our way through them. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun doing this one. We recorded it over a week ago now and it's been released some two weeks after the point of when I'm recording this little bit here because we're not in the country. So yeah, this is pre-recorded for your entertainment and pleasure and also to give you a welcome break from all those Raw Head Rex episodes which are dropping pretty much every single day. If you're checking us out on YouTube, please subscribe. That way you get little notifications when all our content is dropping moving forward and you get access to the stuff that we've managed to already get up on the feed. If you check us out via Spotify or on the Anchor app, then answer the question. Also make sure you hit subscribe on that. And if you're checking us out through any of the podcatchers out there, also make sure you're subscribed. There is over 1,260 episodes of the podcast under the stairs in this RSS feed and you don't want to miss anything that we're launching so just make sure you've smashed the subscribe button all that's left for me to say is i hope you have a wonderful day i hope you're having a great october and uh, for the final time on this episode wherever you are whatever the time zone is and whatever you're up to in this big bad world of ours please take care of yourselves out there this is duncan mcleish broadcasting live from under the stairs and i am signing off